medicine. Juniperus monosperma. <laughs> what is it used for? Um, the berries are used in gin production and also it's a great wildlife forage. <laughs> uh, this is Cercocarpus brevifolius. I don't know what it's used for. What genus is it in? Cercocarpus. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. Not a whole lot of diversity in these hills. This is a patchy plume. It's in the rose family. Felugia paradoxa. I believe there was some botanist back in the day named Felugia. <laughs> Paul, what do you have to say about all this? Sally Felugus was her name. <laughs> she loves the outdoors. And last, we have the Yucca Neo Mexicana, or the Spanish bayonet. And what's this What's for? right there? Nice and green. Is that the pinon? Pine, where they get the pine nuts. And that one right there? Over there? This one? That one? No, over, 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 over by the rock. That's a Cercocarpus again. Of what genus? Cercocarpus. <laughs> Is that a cactus? No. I'm talking about the cactus. Oh, the cactus. That's the tree choya. What about that one right over there? <laughs> way, way past there at the end of the trail? Uh, that... That one there? No, no, right there. Over this way. Oh, this one here, that's another one of those live oaks. It's an evergreen oak. You also have a breeze with no plants. Cracker Scribanella. I don't know how much memory is on that thing. <laughs> but I think we're...